Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories. Let's start with the story. AITA for pulling my daughter out of dance because her mom ruined it. My little girl is five and she's been dancing for about a year now. She's super into tap and ballet, which I think is great because it makes her happy. Her mom, though, was a gymnast back in the day and had high hopes that our daughter would follow in her footsteps. She really wanted her to get into gymnastics, but after trying it out, our daughter wasn't feeling it at all. She was all about dancing instead, and while I thought my wife would roll with it, it's clear this has been bothering her more than I realize. Now, instead of just letting our daughter enjoy her dance classes, my wife's been making things tense. She's basically alienated herself from the other moms and even the dance instructor. She keeps saying she doesn't think our daughter is being used to her full potential and that she butts heads with the instructor a lot. She thinks that because of her gymnastics background, the instructor should listen to her and apply her suggestions. My wife's super competitive, and I do admire that drive in her, but honestly it feels like it's turning into a bigger problem. The tension between her and the instructor has gotten so bad, and she's even brought it up to the other moms, comparing how their daughters are treated versus ours. Naturally, the other moms weren't thrilled about that, and now it's like the whole experience has been ruined for our daughter. Because of this drama, the other moms have started excluding our daughter from playdates and fun outings. The girls all talk about these get-togethers during class, and it's gotten to the point where my daughter comes home in tears, asking why she doesn't get to hang out with her friends anymore. I sat down with my wife to talk about it, but she just brushed it off, saying our daughter will make new friends when she starts kindergarten and it's not a big deal. But here's the thing, this is a studio where she plans for our daughter to be for years. I don't understand how my wife can't see that her constant conflict with the other parents is causing our daughter to feel left out. She told me the other moms are rude and that she'll always stand up for herself and our daughter, even if I won't. She even told me I need to stop being scared of the other moms. But this isn't about fear, it's about how our daughter is feeling right now. It's gotten so bad that my daughter doesn't even want to go to class anymore. She cries when I pick her up after work, saying she hates going to dance. The funny thing is, the parents and instructors are totally nice to me when I go to pick her up. One mom even invited my daughter to her kid's birthday party but specifically asked if I could take her. When I told my wife about it, she completely lost it. She said it was weird that the mom didn't want her there and said our daughter couldn't go. I told her she was being ridiculous, but she wouldn't let up. To make things worse, the party ended up being on a day I had to work, so I couldn't take her. I was at my wit's end. My daughter kept saying she hated the studio and didn't want to dance anymore, so I made a decision. The next time I went to pick her up, after seeing her in tears again, I pulled the plug and disenrolled her. I couldn't stand seeing her so miserable, and it was clear that something had to change. When I went home and told my wife she got mad and said I'm an evil asshole, and that I should have spoken to her first before doing that. I told her that she is the one that ruined our daughter's experience with her fighting the parents and instructors, and alienating our daughter from the other girls. She kept saying I'm the only one wrong, and that I'm an asshole since it's the best studio in town, and others have wait lists for months. AITA? Update a quick recap is that my wife got into conflict with instructors and parents at our daughter's studio, causing her to be alienated, and in return I unenrolled my unhappy daughter from classes. I felt a bit conflicted if I did the right thing, but after reading your responses I felt content, I made the right choice. I even showed her comments, but she refused to look at my phone for long. I thought after getting mad my wife would be able to get over this and see my side, but unfortunately things became very bad. She told me a week after she was going to enroll our daughter back in gymnastics like she had initially wanted and my daughter overheard this saying she didn't want to and started crying. My wife completely ignored this and went on talking to me saying she's sick of me enabling quitting and that our daughter needs a better role model. I was sick to watch her ignore our crying daughter and told her that we already tried gymnastics and our daughter didn't like it and she said it will be different this time and that her word is final. We kept arguing about this and she went on to enroll our daughter into gymnastics again and started taking her while I was at work. I was furious that she couldn't respect my wishes, but she said I wasn't respecting her. I told my wife that she has control issues and is trying to live through our daughter and this made her extremely upset. I recommended therapy like a lot of commenters said too and this set her off. She started accusing me of infidelity, saying that the mother at my daughter's old studio who specifically asked that I bring my daughter and not my wife is the reason I'm starting 
issues for no reason with her, and that she found it weird that she specially asked for me and not her and that means something more. I said that's because all the moms hate her and didn't want her around and she cursed at me horribly saying disgusting things I can't type, but I'm shocked I married someone so vile. She wasn't always like this, she was a kind caring woman before this whole gymnastic slash ballet fiasco started and her tiger mom's side came out. I know it's crazy and I wish I could say different, but I'm seeing this heading towards divorce. We haven't slept in the same bed for three weeks and she won't talk to me about anything other than the house, our daughter, and the dog. I'm embarrassed to tell anyone this because I find it so bizarre and weird that so much conflict has stemmed from something as innocent as sports. Comment Just to piggyback, while it seems like a really huge leap to assume someone is cheating just because they threw out an infidelity comment. Everything else together just doesn't fit. Someone who is kind and caring doesn't just become completely vile and act as if they hate you out of the blue or over issues that could normally be pretty easily solved. The way she is acting is so over the top for the situation that there must be something going on behind the scenes you don't know about. There's a word for it but I've forgotten it, but people who have fallen out of love or are cheating and want to break up but can't bring themselves to do it will sort of just sabotage the relationship by acting out like this, in disproportionate ways, making big deals out of small situations, being distant on purpose, in order to eventually alienate the partner so much they initiate to the breakup for them. It kind of sounds like this. Anyway. Definitely ente. And a parent that's more into the activity they're forcing their kid to do and getting more out of it than the kid is, is not healthy for the kid. So while it may hurt to fight against your wife, it'll hurt a lot more if you don't fight for your daughter, so just keep that in mind. Whatever you decide to do, you're doing it for your daughter. This was my thought too. You hurt her by telling her she is so disliked. She's doing what I call scatter blasting in retribution because she can't imagine not being adored. She is picking on you with anything and everything she can think of, to attack with, rather than sticking to a one-shot issue. This is generally a sign of mental health problems, compounded by the determination to have your daughter in girly activities, which are often associated with the pretty popular girls. There's a lot going on here, and I'm guessing that a peek at her childhood might answer many questions. It's not right, but it might explain. Meanwhile, I'm not sure about her cheating. Scatter blasters will often go for what they believe will really hurt you. Go for blood, no matter how outrageous. Scatter blasters are also trying to drive you away. Their insecurities mean they get to dump you first, and therefore are a victim and a one. You should proactively protect yourself and your daughter. Thanks for watching till the end, wishing you an awesome day. Feel free to drop a comment if you've got more to share, I'd love to hear from you.